Hi guys, this is the junior team segment for this week for our jazz technique and stretch class. We're gonna start with jumping jacks to get our blood pumping. My name is Miss Jess and this is Audrey, she's my assistant. So facing forward, we have 10 jumping jacks to the, to the front, alternating to the right, all the way around clockwise. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, turn to your right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, turn to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, turn to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, turn to the right, last set. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, good job, shake it out. Let's take it to the floor. We're gonna be in our straddle, uh, arms in second position. Let's take a big stretch to that right side, keeping that left leg elongated all the way through the ankles and toes. Hold that stretch. All right, lift back up. Let's take it to that left side. Make sure you're really watching your turnout, keeping those booties nice and tight so our legs, are put, our heels are pushing forward, rotating from those hips. Good job, back up to the top. Staying here, let's flex our toes and take it one more time to that right side. You're gonna feel that deeper stretch behind the knees. All right, back up to the top. Find your posture and to the left. Still flex feet, hold. All right, back to the top. Stretch those ankles and toes. Let's take those arms up to high fit. We're gonna use four counts to bring our body to center. Make sure that you're moving from the hips down, not just the arms. You want to take the whole body so you're using your abdominal muscles. Here we go. And one, two, three, four, and hold. Make sure you keep that turn out. Squeeze that booty. Stretch those ankles and toes. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Make sure you're really paying attention to the knees. You want to keep them nice and long all the way through the ankles. All right, staying there, flex those toes. All right, stretch those toes and bring yourself back up to high fit. All the way up. Let's shake those legs in, keeping those legs parallel. Stretch those ankles and toes. Take those arms up one more time. Take a deep breath in. Pull up out of those hips as you stretch forward. Stretch those ankles, stretch those ankles. Good, back to the top. Flex toes. Really feel those heels pushing forward so you're really lengthening the back of those knees. Keep your focus forward, we're gonna grab those toes. Hold that stretch, give yourself a tiny pull so you feel those elbows slightly bending towards your knees. Try to keep that back as flat as you possibly can. Nice job, dancers. Take it to the top, stretch those ankles and toes. Feel those laser beams just zipping right out of those toes. Stretch forward. Lengthen, 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 and make sure that you're really keeping those toes nice and parallel. Nice job. All right, back to the top. Now we're gonna do a little bit of a challenge today. You're gonna open those legs through your straddle and bring them all the way around to the back so that you're laying flat on your belly. And I want you to push up into your plank position. Keeping that neck alignment. If you find yourself looking down like this, you need to readjust.
adjust that neckline. When you're dancing, you would have a nice long spine all the way from the crown of your head all the way to the tailbone. Keeping the abdominals tight. All right, we're gonna take our right leg up to just a tiny little arabesque line. This is a challenge plank. So you're challenging, balancing on one foot, and then we'll switch to that left side. Let's count 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Let's switch your roof over to that left leg. 10, nine, eight, seven, six. You can do it guys, five, four, three, two, back to two legs, and hold 10 more, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and relax. All right, guys, good job. Hop up for me. Let's take those legs to a nice second position parallel. Arms are up. We're gonna take those four counts all the way to the floor and go four, three, two, and one. Make sure those hands are touching the floor. You're lengthening those legs all the way through the uh, heels into the ground. You're gonna grab those ankles and just give yourself a tiny pull. Your goal is to try to get your head as close to the legs as possible. Work at your level. Some people can go further than others, it's fine. Just go to where you feel it. All right, to so that grand plie in second position. Really use those arms for resistance and pushing those knees back. Really focusing on rotating from the hips. Yes, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Let's take those arms up for a challenge. You're using your abdominal muscles to support, your spine to, to stay lifted. And the goal here is to try to get your hips and your knees in alignment. If you find yourself a little higher, just try to challenge yourself to go lower. Let's hold it 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and turn to that right side, into that runner stretch. Hold that stretch, really focusing on lengthening from your derriere all the way up to the heel. Feel that stretch, guys. These runner stretches are excellent for those hip flexors. They're really gonna help those back legs and your splits and in your leaps. Reach back and grab that foot. So we're using opposite hand and foot. We have our right arm currently with our left foot. Feel that stretch. Good, let's return back to our runner stretch and hold it just a little bit longer. You should really start feeling that hip now, really feeling it open it up, yes? All right, let's sit back into that left foot. Let's check the body alignment, making sure that your shoulders and your hips are properly aligned, keeping that leg in front of you, lengthening that toe. Go ahead and push on out to that right leg split. Hands are on the floor. If you want that challenge, you can bring those hands up off the ground and hold. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Stay here and flex that front foot. 4, 3, 2. Now point that front foot, hold it, hold it, and relax. Good job, hop on up. Let's go right back to that grand plie. Arms in second position. Challenging our legs, challenging our muscles. I know it's a lot of work, guys. Let's rotate to that left side so you're finding that runner stretch. Working our right leg currently, extending that right leg. Hold it. All right, reach back and grab that foot, pressing that hip flexor down to the ground. You wanna be super aware too of that knee alignment. You don't want it pushing too far forward over that toe. Make sure it's nice and straight from the knee to the ankle. Proper, proper alignment on your stretching will follow you to your dancing. So you wanna always be aware of what your body's doing. 
Let's hold this for five, four, three, two, and return to that runner stretch. Let's hold that for five more counts. And five, four, three, two, and one. Go ahead and sit back into those hips. Checking your alignment, stretching that foot, lengthen it on out to that left leg split. Keeping yourself nice and lifted. You don't want to find your body leaning too far forward. You want to always have your shoulders over your hips so that you're, again, practicing that proper alignment. Arms in second for a challenge if you choose. And hold 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Let's flex that front foot. 5, 4, 3, Two and point it one last time. Hold it and relax. Good job, guys. Hop up one more split to do. Find that grand plie. Now, in your center splits, remember to keep your uh, legs straight out from the hips. You can do this against the wall as well if it's helpful, but it's more challenging to do it in center. So maybe try it in both places, whatever works for you. Go ahead and slide on and out to that split. And keeping those legs nice and straight. You want to always be aware of those knees. You need to stretch all the way through the backs of the knees to the ankles and toes. Keep it one long line. All right, let's hold this 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Four, three, two, one. I'm gonna have you bring those legs around to the back so that you're laying flat on your belly. Now all I want you to do is lift your sternum up off the floor so that you're in an arched back position. You're gonna keep your pelvis on the floor. So what we're doing here is stretching that spine, making sure that we're not letting our shoulders lift. You wanna keep these lengthened and pressed down through your back, yes? Now, if you're feeling pretty good about this stretch, feel free to arch it back a little bit more and release your focus to the ceiling. Really feel that. Good job, and relax. All right, hop on up, guys. Let's find our position across the floor. We're gonna start with our batmas. You have three batmas into a leg hold, starting stepping on your left foot. So, ready? Step one. Batma two, step three, batma four, five. You're gonna grab count six, hold seven, eight. And then you'll repeat as we go across the floor. All right, let's give it a try. And we will do it on the opposite side. We fit about four batmas in our space. Um, work at your space that you have at home, adjust what you need to. Um, we're gonna do four, here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. And step, push, step, push, now grab. Hold, hold, hold. Step, push, step, push. Now grab that left foot, hold, hold. Let's try it again. Coming from the other side, you wanna start with the opposite foot. So we're gonna step on our right foot, keeping the left foot foot. Be very aware as you're brushing that foot. I wanna see a nice brush through that JJ all the way up into that Batma. Strong energy up, a sustaining energy on the way down. Here we go, chest is Nice and open, lengthened arms. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Kick, kick, and hold, hold, hold. Repeat, kick, kick, and hold, hold, hold. Awesome job, guys. All right, let's start with our chenets. Now today we're gonna add a little bit of a variation in our chenet turns. Um, when you're done with your chenets, you're gonna add a box. So you're gonna start with a chenet on one, two, and then you're gonna have step, step, batma. Yes? You'll probably only get one of these across the floor. Um, if you have room for two, that's fine, do two. Um, we will also do this on the left. Nice, strong energy. Be really aware of those arms on your batma, keeping them nice and long, elbows stretched. Here we go, five, six, seven, chenet, one, Two, 
chest, step, kick. Again, ready? Left side. Starting in a nice pointed tendu. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Shane, step, step, kick. Again, back to that right side. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Shane, right foot, left foot, right foot. Again. Super careful that when you do your batma, you're not letting your body lean forward because then your leg only gets this high. You want to pull up so that your leg has got full range of motion all the way up to that arm and towards the ceiling. Yes. Here we go on that left side. So we have our left foot in a nice tendu, stretching those ankles. Here we go. Six, seven, eight. Left foot, left, right, stretch. All right. Nice job, dancers. All right, find yourself a corner or a long runway for our uh, leap segment. We're gonna start with a nice chasse, step, step, grand jeté, your basic leap. Um, and actually it's more of a soda shot, so the foot is going to brush through and extend out. Remember, the more energy in that kick that you give me in that front leg, the more elevation you're gonna create. And you wanna really push off that back foot so that you're helping to get your body off the ground. Also remembering to squeeze your center because we don't want to feel like a, a bag of potatoes if we're trying to get ourselves off the ground, yes? Here we go, starting on our right foot. You have a nice chasse, five, six, seven, chasse, one, two, and stretch. Get those arms all the way up to the ceiling, nice and strong, yes? Nice high knees. Let's try that left side. What we do on the right, we always do the left. Here we go, tendu left, five, six, seven, and. Chasse, push. Great job. Something to be really uh, cautious of is the pattern of your arms. So if you're coming up off the floor, don't take the long way to get up. You wanna chop right through and get up there faster. That way you're creating the picture in the air a lot quicker. If you're doing it the long ways, it uh, slows you down a little bit, yeah? So we want a nice sharp pop to the ceiling when we're coming out of that. Let's try the right side again. And do not lean forward, okay? We're not Superman. We want to think of someone pulling us up when we leap. So use that back to really pull up to the ceiling. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Chasse and up. Again, let's find that left side. Make sure you're squeezing all the way down to the ground through your plie. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, chasse, pull up. Awesome job, you guys. All right, find your corner number one again. Reviewing our calypsos. So we do our calypsos with two chenille turns. The first one is your nice, nice normal chenille. The second one working through plie, pushing us up into the, into the air, making sure that we're using same arm as leg. I'm gonna have Audrey show you the position on the floor, just for review. So we have our back leg bent, our front leg fully extended. The back leg is bent, the back arm is bent. I always say think of your fingertips reaching towards the ceiling. Don't find yourself flattening yourself out because then you ruin your body alignment. So think nice and long. Keeping the front leg nice and straight. Now you can have a curved arm or it can be straight. Either one is fine as long as this one is nice and rounded, yes? All right, let's give it a try. Remembering to brush that foot on the way up, pushing it up so that we're getting nice high elevation. Yes? Here we go. Five, six, seven, and up. Down and push. All right. We're doing the roll variation. That's It's fine to do either rolling or landing on your feet. Either one is correct. We see both versions in the dance community. Um, Practice whichever one you're most acquainted with. Some are more acquainted with the roll and the landing. Um, so either one. Let's try that right side again. Here we go. And five, six, seven, eight. Up and down and push. Nice job, dancers. Let's try that left side. I know we all have a favorite, but we still want to make sure that we're giving lots of love to our bad side so that we're staying well-rounded in our technique. 
Ready, here we go. Left side, five, six, seven, eight, and up, down, and push. Great job. Let's try the left side again. Now try to really challenge yourself to use the floor, yes? A lot of times we're trying to make things look pretty and then we don't seem to give it enough energy. You need to learn to use the floor. So the stronger you're pushing off the floor and the stronger you're kicking those legs, the better energy you're gonna create to achieve your goal. Um, the, the gracefulness and the cleanliness will come the more you uh, do the skill, yes? Here we go, left side, five, six, seven, eight, and up, and down and push. Awesome job. All right, going back to corner number one. So going back to what we did with our Shade Batma, we're gonna replace the Batma with a pirouette. So slow motion, we're gonna start in a tendu with our Shade turn. So we have Shade, right foot, left foot, then into your preparation, right and left. Let's try that again. So think right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. We have right foot, left foot, right foot, plie. Now from here, you're gonna balance, hold, six, seven, eight. And then we'll do it again. Now after you go hold, six, seven, eight, I want you to return back to your tendu and I'll count you in again. And then the second time you do a single and the last time you do a double. Um, if you don't feel like the double is attainable for you, it's fine to stick with that balance and that single turn until you feel strong enough to achieve those, those rotations. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. You have right, left, step, prepare. Balance, 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 return. Five, six, seven, eight. Right foot, left foot, right foot, hold. Single and down, return. Five, six, seven, eight. Eight, right foot, left foot, double turn, up, up, and down. Awesome job, let's do that right side again. A little bit faster, five, six, five, six, seven, eight, and up, two, three, four, and hold, 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 and down, return, six, seven, eight, up, two, three, four, and single, and down, return, five, six, seven, eight, right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot, double, return, awesome job. Let's hop over to the left side, just for a quick, slow review of the left foot, so now we're starting in our left tendu, so we start with our left chine, left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, so in this position, you should have your left foot in the back, to go into a left passe, hold, 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 and repeat. Making sure we're connecting those passes. Ready, six, seven, slow. We have left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot, single, left, seven, repeat. Left foot, right foot, left foot, right foot. You have your double, and repeat. All right, let's give this a try and pull out. And remember, if you need to do a single again instead of a double, that's fine. Adjust to your needs, yes? Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight. You have left, right, left, right, left, hold. And five, six, seven, eight. Left, right, left, right, left, single, hold, return. Five, six, seven, eight. Left, right, left, right, left, double, and return. Let's try that left one more time. Be really aware of when you're spotting. You always want to spot in front of you, and the last thing to go around is that head. So be really focusing on your spot. Here we go. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, and left, right, left, right, balance. Hold, 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 and down. Repeat, six, seven, eight. Eight. Left, right, left, right, and single. Repeat. Five, six, seven, eight. Left, right, left, right, and hold, hold, down. Awesome, you guys. Let's come out out to the middle. We're going to hold on to that because we're going to come back to that combination in a minute, adding something else to it. Uh, before we do that, we're going to do a quick 
uh, leg extension um, warm up. So we're going to start in our tendu with our right leg, arms in second. You're going to grab the inside of your leg and stretch it up to the ceiling. Hold, 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 and down. Let's jump over to that left side. Here we go. Five, six, seven, eight, and grab. And extend, hold, two, three, four, and down. All right, try that right side one more time. Make sure you're really using those arm muscles to help hold that leg up, and you're also squeezing your tummy and your booty to hold balance and to hold posture as you're pulling that leg, yes? Here we go, right side. Five, six, five, six, seven, eight, leg up. Hold five, four, three, two, and relax. And control it on the way down. Left side, one more time. Five, six, seven, eight, and grab. Extend and hold five, four, three, two, and one. Good job, shake it out. Feel free to repeat these exercises as much as you want on your own. The more you do them, the better they get. Practice makes perfect, so keep that in mind. Um, we're gonna go back to our Shanae uh, pirouette combination. So we're gonna start further back in our tendu. You're gonna do a Shanae forward, and then you're gonna go run, run into your grand, into your grand jeté to the floor. So no pirouette this time. The Shanae step, step, leap. Now we're turning and spotting towards the front of the room. So starting with your Shanae, you have right foot, left foot, step, step, leap to the floor. Yes, you're gonna combine those together. Here we go. We're gonna scoot back just a little bit more so we have lots of room to leap. Here we go, five, six, seven, eight. And Shanae, right, left, right to the floor. Let's try it one more time. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. Shane, step, step, push. Awesome. Let's come back and switch your over to that left side. So starting in your tendu, making sure your arms are nice and long and our posture is nice and tight. Here we go. Six, seven, eight, left. And run, run, push. All the way down. Let's try that left side one more time. Here we go, five, six, seven, eight, and left, and run, run, push, and down. All right, shake it out, guys. All right, let's find ourselves on the floor really, really quick. Just a quick cool down before we finish class. Take those legs in front of you parallel, arms up to the ceiling, and take a big stretch up out of those hips and forward. Remember your goal is to try to get around those ankles so that we're really feeling that resistance. If you can only reach the tops of your feet, that's fine. Challenge yourself to work at different levels based on your needs, yes? All right, let's flex our toes and let's pull gently in our toes, our elbows towards the knees. Feel that stretch. Good job and relax. All right, guys. Thanks for joining me today. Remember to keep up with your weekly classes with Miss Jen on Zoom. Um, and I hope everyone's doing great. Good job today.